Right now at 6 o'clock, this high-profile attorney, Jose Baez, who has just started representing a Jacksonville Beach woman charged in the murder-for-hire plot of her ex-husband, has immediately demanded all the state's evidence of the case in one of his first court filings. Jose Baez has replaced Shanna Gardner's former defense attorney, Jacksonville's Hank Cox. Baez gained fame when he won acquittals for Orlando mom Casey Anthony and NFL player Aaron Hernandez. Now, Baez has filed a demand for discovery in the murder of Jared Bryant again last year. He filed a written not guilty plea to Gardner's indictment and has requested a waiver of appearance for her arraignment tomorrow. Tarek Miners here after speaking with a local attorney about Baez's possible legal strategy. Tarek? You know, and Jose Baez officially um, announced yesterday that he was taking Shannon Gardner's case. The 36-year-old and her current husband, Mario Fernandez, are accused, are facing charges of first-degree murder for the shooting death of Gardner's ex-husband, Jared Breidigan. Now, we sat down with the local attorney, Curtis Fallgatter, who's not associated with the case, to find out the potential strategy, the legal strategy for Baez and yet another high-profile crime. On his first day on the job, lawyer Jose Baez is demanding the state's evidence they have against Shanna Gardner, who's charged with orchestrating a murder-for-hire plot to kill her husband, Jared Breidigan, requesting the names of everyone relevant to the case, any written or recorded statements, DNA evidence, and details of a plea agreement the prosecution made with alleged gunman Henry Tenen. Tenen confessed to shooting Bride again in February of 2022 and has agreed to testify against any co-defendants. Lawyer Curtis Fallgatter, who's not associated with this case, says while lawyer Jose Baez's legal strategy isn't crystal clear, he expects Baez to argue that Gardner was unaware of the murder-for-hire plot. If I'm Miss Gardner, what I'm going to say is, well, I never talked to Tenet. I don't know who the guy is, and if Fernandez did it, he did that totally without my knowledge. I'm so embarrassed. I loved uh, my husband as a father, ex-husband. I would never want the daughter of my, the, the, pardon, the father of my child to be killed. Fallgetter says that legal defense strategy might work with regards to suspect Henry Tenen, but he says it will be a far tougher defense if Mario Fernandez decides to cooperate with the prosecution. Fernandez and Gardner married in 2018 after Gardner's bitter divorce with Jared Bridegan. Her indictment revealing that she first plotted to kill Bridegan in 2015, Fallgatter expects the prosecution to pit Gardner and Fernandez against each other. It's absolutely a given that the prosecution is going to attempt to get Fernandez to resolve his case so they have him as a, as a second witness in a prosecution of Gardner. Authorities say they have phone records to prove Tenen and Fernandez conspired in Breitigan's murder and payments in the form of checks from Fernandez to Tenen. What remains unclear is what evidence prosecutors have connecting Gardner directly to the plot. Fallgetter says even without evidence from discovery, lawyer Jose Baez is already starting to build her defense. You can try to formulate some of your defenses before you get all the state's evidence, but it's a mistake to attempt to finalize your defense strategies until you know what the evidence is, because you've got to make sure that your strategy is consistent with the evidence. Shanna Gardner, who was recently extradited from Washington State to Duval County, is expected to be arraigned tomorrow in court, where she will likely enter a not guilty plea alongside her new lawyer, Jose Baez. Tom?